$5 saving circulars are available weekly. Thanks for shopping your friendly neighborhood Eagle Supermarket Store. More of my interview with Alice Lundgren. On Monday's Morning Exchange. Mary Kurds of Chesapeake will be playing for $100,000 on the Ohio Lottery Cash Explosion Double Play. And now, here are your hosts, Sharon Bicknell and Paul Tapia. Thank you. Boy. Good evening and welcome to Cash Explosion Double Play. You know, I just cannot believe that it is November already. I mean, the holiday season is just around the corner. I have got a million things to do. Yeah, and I bet a million dollars would make getting through the holiday season just a little easier, huh? Paul, are you offering me a million dollars? Oh, heck no. I'm about to remind our Super Lotto players oh. that next week is our special Millionaire of the Month drawing. Those of you who have matched three of six winning Super Lotto numbers in the month of October are eligible to win our Million Dollar Grand Prize. When speaking of millions of dollars, our Super Lotto jackpot tonight is an incredible $24 million. And you have until 745 to play those lucky numbers, too. Yeah, now, Sharon, if I had a million dollars to spare, you know I'd loan you a couple of bucks. But uh, in the meantime, you'll just have to wait for your letter from uh, Ed man. couple of bucks. Yeah. Boy, you are all heart, Paul. You know that? Yeah, Sharon, I know. Uh, now, let's meet our first four contestants for tonight. Player number one comes to us from Columbus. Bill Turner would like to win enough to fly to Cancun and relax. Bill enjoys golfing and reading. He would also like to form an organization to help his community. Between the pick three drawing and cash explosion, she was a winner for five days straight. Akron's Constance Lee would use $50,000 to publish her writings. Player number two is also into photography and bingo. Our third contestant comes to us from Circleville. John Williams spent all last week getting his oldest daughter married and safely off on her honeymoon. John is a carpentry supervisor who's very active in fast pitch softball. Our two great grandchildren are her number one pride and joy. Dorothy Butko comes to us from Delaware. Player number four enjoys listening to country music and trying out her luck at bingo. Okay, let's get started in our first semifinal game. Each player must stop the game board before the clock counts down and select a letter for a dollar amount. The one with the most money after three turns will be our first finalist. And hidden somewhere on the board are two double cards and a bonus square. Okay, let's get going and find our first finalist for tonight. And player one is Bill Turner from Columbus. Welcome, Bill. Thank Ready you. to go? Well, clock's ticking in the O column is yours now select. I'll try the A. He'll try the A. What's there, Sharon? $2,800. Good start. Now here's Constant Lee from Akron. Connie, to her friends and all that family out there in the audience tonight. And Connie, whenever you're ready, hit that red button. The E column, and select a letter, please. L. The L. And for Connie, let's see. $2,400. It looks like that. And here's player three, John Williams from Circleville. John, hand over the red button there. And the E column, and select. Uh, I'll take the Y, please. The Y, and here's what you'll get. $3,100. And finally, here's Dorothy Butko from Delaware. Welcome, Dorothy. And you skip around the board to the U column and select. I'll take the L. The L, and behind the L for Dorothy. There's a double card, Dorothy, and on your first turn. <laughs> All right, shock wear off a little bit, Dorothy, because I'm going to reset that clock for you. You're going to take another trip around that board. Whatever cash amount we reveal next, we'll double. Boy, she slaps that button down, doesn't she? The L column and select another letter. I'll take the Y. The Y. We'll double this cash amount. It's a bonus square. Oh, goodness. Here's Johnny Douglas to tell you what you're going to win. All right, Dorothy. It's a 1992 Honda Accord EX. This four-door sedan comes equipped with automatic transmission, air conditioning, cruise control, and a moonroof. Made in Marysville, it has a retail value of more than $19,000. Boy, what a decision we have here. Now, Dorothy, you have a choice here. You can take that brand-new 1992 Honda Accord EX worth over $19,000, or we'll double the money... That's behind that bonus square. I'll, double, I'll take the money. She's going to take the money. We'll double the cash amount behind that bonus square, so let's see what it is. $2,300. We'll double make it 4600 Dorothy's happy with that. That'll end our first turn, and let's see who has the lead. Well, obviously, it's Dorothy with $4,600. Then John with $3,100. Bill with $2,800. And back to Connie now with $2,000. Four hundred dollars, kind of. That's quite a fan club you got out there. Thank you. <laughs> I said before they look kind of like the Mickey Mouse Club with their T-shirts on there. We had them sing C O N N I E, but not M O U S E. So you under, you uh, write in your spare time, is that right? Yes. What do you like to write, Connie? Um, uh, I write. Well, really anything, but I wrote a book of poems, nursery rhymes, biblical nursery rhymes for children. That's nice. Would you like to write some checks? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's get you there, Connie. All right. And the B column. Everything's there to choose from. L. The L. 
Well, and for Connie, what's there? $1,000 for Connie. And now we meet John Williams of Circleville. John, there's nothing more stressful than planning a daughter's wedding. How did it go? Everything went well. Everything went fine. Did you uh, do up the car? Uh, yes. Yeah. Destroyed it? Now we need money. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Can't get the shoe polish off it. All right, John, here we go. Second turn for you. And the E column select. We'll take the P. The P. And for John, $3,000. Now here's Dorothy Busco, Delaware. Of course, she turned down that car and doubled her money with that uh, double square. And you have your good luck charms right in front of you. Right in front of me. My great-grandchildren. Your great-grandchildren. They're pretty good luck charms so far. Yes, so far. <laughs> All right, Dorothy, second turn for you. Let's see what you're doing. The one double card is left on our board, and the B column select. I'll take the P. The P, and for Dorothy, $2,700. Now we come to Bill Turner from Columbus, and Bill, you'd like to create a community organization with your winnings, is that it, or are you just involved with one? No, I would like to start one that helps put youth in a positive direction. That's great, Bill. Well, we hope you come up a winner. Thank you. All right, Bill. Here we go. Second turn for you. And the e-com. Well, the A is left, Bill, so let's look at it together and see what you have there. Sharon, $1,200. That'll end our second turn. Dorothy still has Lee with $7,300 and John with $6,100. Bill with $4,000 and back to Connie with $3,400. Still one double card up there, Connie. Maybe you can find it on your last turn. And the u Callum select. P. The P. And behind the P for Connie, $2,200. Now to John, who's got a shot at catching Dorothy. And John, your last turn. And the B column select. I'll take the Y. The Y. And for John, what do we have? $3,100. Now John takes the lead away from Dorothy. All right, Dorothy, here we go. You lost the lead. I'm sure you'd like to get it back. Last turn. And the point is, she hit that button. The D column and select. I'll take the Y. The Y. And for Dorothy, will it be enough? $3,200. Not a bill with the last chance at it. Looking for a double card. And the U, Callum. Two letters left. I'll try the Y. The Y. Let's see what's there. $2,100. That'll end our game. And the winner with $10,500 is Dorothy Busco from Delaware. Congratulations. All our contestants are going home with lots of cash tonight. Connie at $5,600, and our thanks for being with us. Bill, you did well, $6,100. And John, almost, I'll tell you what, you're going home with $9,200. Well, Dorothy, you did it. The good luck charm worked. Those great grandkids, $10,500 is yours. When we double it, that gives you $21,000. So let me go over the board and show everybody at home where the other double card was. Oh, right above your head there, all right. Now, before we go to the pick three, pick four, and cards drawings, we'd like to tell you about a new instant lottery game available at a lottery retailer near you. The Ohio Lottery presents... Bob Feller. Woody Hayes. The Big Red Machine. Otto Graham. Jesse Owens. Tony Traver. Jack Nicklaus. Pete Rose. Paul Brown. Jim Brown. Boom Boom Mancini. John Havlicek. Wilma Rudolph. Archie Griffin. They all play a role in great moments in Ohio sports. One of the 85 popular videos you can win as a second chance prize when you play the Ohio Lottery's new double feature game. Oh, yeah. You can also win up to $500. Bill Banks. The Cardiac Kid. Frank Robinson. Ben Boy, what a concept. Double feature featured on Tash Explosion Double Play. Double, double. You get that? That's a ring. Yeah, you got that. Okay. We'll be right back after these messages, so stay with us. Good evening, everyone. Now we're winning lottery numbers and winning cards. First 10 balls to drop to each machine. They mix. And here's a nice winning pick. Three numbers. Zero. Number eight. Number nine, so tonight's winning pick three numbers, 089. If you match 089 straight or box, you're a winner. And in the pick four game, number four, eight, number five, and finally another number five. So tonight's winning pick four numbers, 4855. Five. And now in the cards game, the winning hand tonight is the three of hearts. King of Clubs, Three of Diamonds, and Jack of Spades. Stay tuned. I'll be back to call winning numbers for tonight's Chicolato and Kicker Drawings. Tonight's Chicolato Jackpot is worth $24 million. Now back to the show. Tonight, 
our sales agent of the week is from Woodville, Ohio. Congratulations to Michael D. Warren, owner of Films and Packages. Now, back to more cash explosion double play with Paul and Sheriff. Thank you, Johnny. Now let's get our second game going by beating our next four contestants for tonight. Give a nice welcome to player number one. Homer Schaefer plans to invest his winnings in real estate. Homer's a Mansfield resident who likes to strum on the guitar. He's also interested in fishing and auto racing. Player number two would like to do something nice for her husband with her winnings. Wilmington's Dorothy Hill spends her spare time crocheting lace and sewing. She also likes to dance to just about any tune. Her strategy was to buy four cash explosion tickets at a time, but she won when she bought three. Cheryl Lynn Jones is an automotive inspector from Toledo. Cheryl Lynn enjoys floral arranging, bowling, and the blues. Our final contestant crossed state lines to discover lottery fame and fortune. Hilda Doolin bought her ticket in Belfry, and she lives in Parkersburg, West Virginia. Hilda's a potato chip packer who likes to cook and sew. Well, we've reached out the board, and once again, we have to double charge to the bonus square, so let's get going and find our second finalist. And player one is Homer Schaefer from Mansfield. Welcome, Homer. Ready to play? Yes, sir. All right, I'll start the clock for you, then. You hit that red button whenever you're ready. The E column, select a letter, please. Y. The Y. And for Homer, what do we have? $2,300. Good start. Here's player two, Dorothy Hill from Wilmington. Welcome, Dorothy. Clock's ticking for you. And you stop at the O column. Select a letter, please. P, L, A, or Y? P. The P. And for Dorothy. $3,000. Now here's Sherilyn Jones from Toledo. And Sherilyn, hand over the red button there. And you skip around to where? The B column. Select. I'll take the L, please. The L. And here's what you get. $1,600. And finally, here's Hilda Doolin from Parkersburg, West Virginia. Welcome to Ohio, Hilda. Glad to have you here on our show. The B column and select. Here, take the Y. The Y. And for Hilda. $1,400. That'll end our first turn. In the lead is Dorothy with $3,000. Then Homer with $2,300. Sherilyn with $1,600. And over to Hilda with $1,400. Now, you cross the state lines to buy your ticket. Where did you go in Belfry? People's News. The People's News? You go there often? Yes. Well, it was a trip worthwhile, huh, Hilda? It was. All right, Hilda. Let's see what you can do with your second turn. And the E column, select. I'll take the P. The P this time for Hilda. And we have $3,100 for you, Hilda. Here's Homer Schaefer now, Mansfield. Now, Homer, you're wearing your lucky watch. How did you get this lucky watch, Homer? 25 years at Mansfield Tire. And they gave that to you at your retirement? Mm-hmm. You still talk to the folks who work there? Oh, yes. All right, Homer, I'll bet they're all wishing you good luck. Here we go with your second turn. Watch the ticket. And the B column, select. L. Well, we have the P and the A left, Homer. Either P. one of those. The P. All right, for Homer. $2,500. Now here's Dorothy Hill of Wilmington. Uh, Dorothy, you were at a Halloween party, and uh, a ghost came up behind you and uh, sort of uh, scared you a bit. Who was that? That was my husband. Mm-hmm. And what, what scary news did he have? He was going to come back and get me, but all of a sudden he appeared, and the people there from the <laughs> Van was still there and all jumped up at me and said, you're going to be on television. <laughs> and here I you are. I really believe them. It didn't sink in right away. Well, I bet it but did. But sure did them because they were jumping around. Has it sunk in yet, Dorothy? <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> all right. Here we go with your second turn, Dorothy, and good luck to you. And the O column. You have the L, A, and Y left. I'll take the L. The L. And for Dorothy, what do we have? $2,400. Now here's Sherilyn Jones with Toledo. Now, Sherilyn, are you going to revamp your strategy here? You've been buying four uh, tickets, and I uh, thought that was your luck charm. Well, that was on a slow day. That was on a slow day, yeah. <laughs> But three this time worked for you, right? This time worked, too. We're glad to have you here, Sherilyn. Let's Thank see you. how you do with your second turn. And the U count. Select. P. The P. And for Sherilyn. $1,000. Now, in our second turn, we have quite a tight race here. We have Dorothy with $5,400, close behind is Homer with $4,800, then Hilda with $4,500, and back to Sherilyn with $2,600. Both double cards and the bonus square up there. Sherilyn, are yours for the finding. And the D column. Well, everything's there to choose from. Look at the A, please. The A. And for Sherilyn, what do we have? Oh, no, $250. You didn't want to find that. Hilda, to you now. And the 
you count them this time. Select. The Y. The Y. And for Hilda. Clears through the double card. That's the time to get it on your last turn. Here's what I'll do. I'll reset the clock for you. You take another trip around that board. Whatever cash amount we reveal next, we'll double the D column. Select again. So take the P? The P. We'll double this cash amount. There is a the bonus square. Oh, my, again. Here's Johnny Douglas to tell you what you can win. Well, it's a 1992 Mercury Cougar LS. This two-door sport coupe comes equipped with air conditioning, AM, FM, stereo, cassette, and cruise control. Made in Lorraine, it has a cash exposure value of more than $19,000. All right, now, Hilda, I should tell you, and the folks at home, we don't double cars on this show, just the cash. So you have a choice of that 1992 Mercury Cougar LS worth over $19,000, or we'll double the cash that's behind that bonus square. I'm going to take the money. You're going to take the money? Yeah. All right, we'll double the cash amount that's behind this bonus square. Let's see what it is. $2,000. We're going to make it $4,000. All right, Hilda. Now we come back to Homer, our player number one. Still one double card up there, Homer. You might find it. And the U column, select. A. The A. And behind the A. $2,600. Now to Dorothy with the last shot at it, Dorothy. See if she can't find it. And the D column, the L and Y are left. Oh. Take the L. The L. And for Dorothy. $2,200. That'll end our game, and the winner with $8,500 is Hilda Doolin from Parkersburg, West Virginia. I'll see how other players did tonight. Sherilyn, you have $2,850, and our thanks for being here. Homer, $7,400 is yours, and Dorothy, some party money for you, $7,600. Well, Hilda, that double card helped you out. You turned down the car, worked out for you. You have $8,500. When we go to it, that gives you $17,000. Let me go over the board and show everybody at home where the other double card was signing. And there it is. And we'll be back to see if our returning champ, Mary Kearns of Chesapeake, can win $100,000 in our championship game right after these messages. Welcome back. It's time for our Ask the Lottery feature. And here to answer this week's question is the executive assistant to the director of the Ohio Lottery, Pauletta Williams. Welcome, Pauletta. Thank you, Paul. Next week, we will conduct the Millionaire of the Month drawing for all of the three of six matches from Super Lotto drawings in the month of October. As of yet, no one has claimed the winning tickets from our last Millionaire of the Month drawing. If you purchased a three of six match ticket in the month of September from Eakin Road Market in Columbus, Mount Washington Ice and Beer in Cincinnati, or Don's Carryout in Dayton, check your serial numbers against those winning tickets. You could be a million dollar winner. I don't think I'd wait, would you? No. No, all right. Thank you, Paul. And now let's play the championship game. Our players may spin the wheel once or twice to try to get as close to our target number as they can without going over. Pauletta, if you'd reach in here now and select that target number, our players will be shooting for. We'll hold it up to the folks at home. And what will it be this week? Ooh, uh, high number, 16. All right, thank you, Paul. Let us send the drum over this way, and let's bring Dorothy on up here, who has a picture of her great-grandkids with her for good luck. You ready to spin? All right, Dorothy, step right up close to the wheel and give it a turn. Target number 16 lets you can do. Looking for maybe two high spins. Well, how about a nine? That's good. Now you can stay there, Dorothy. Hope our other players tie you or go over. You can spin again. What's it going to be? I don't know. I need a decision. I'll spin. She'll spin. Okay. Here we go again. Seven or lower. Seven or lower. Let's hope the odds here are in her favor. Seven or lower. Oh, a six would be great. Oh, my. Yes, six. Dorothy, you stand over there with Sharon. Right over there with Sharon. Let's bring Hilda on over now. Hilda, step right on up here. You ready to go for this, Hilda? All right. All the way from West Virginia, she came to play with us in the championship game. All right, give it a turn. Number to beat now. It's 15. Target number 16. It's going to be a tough one. Here we go. First spin is going to put you on the one. I'm going to be looking for a double. Hilda, go ahead. Give it another turn. Looking for a double. Looking for the double, but it's not going to come up. And Hilda, you have $17,000 in our thanks. All right, let's bring over our returning champ now, Mary Kearns of Chesapeake, who's playing for $100,000. Your big astrology fan, is it in the stars for you here, dear? Yes. All right, Mary, give the wheel a turn again. The number to beat is 15, target number is 16. Head-to-head -head race now between Mary and Dorothy. And here we go at the first turn. 
Let's just check. Did it go around all the way once? Yes, it did. All right, an eight. Give that wheel another turn. You know you need at least a seven. Seven or eight. Seven or eight. Oh, seven. Yes, sir. Fifteen. That means we have a two-way tie. You can step on over right over here on this side of me. Let's bring Dorothy back over as we roll out our tiebreaker card. Come on up close to me, Dorothy. All right, we always go in the same order that we spun. Behind the A through the H are playing cards. The person with the highest card will become our new champion. Dorothy, select the letter A through H. I'll pick D for Dorothy. D? D. B. D. 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 D for Dorothy. Okay, let's look and see. And behind it, the seven of clubs. All right, you know what I have to do, Mary? You have to beat that for $100,000 select. I'll take a B. The B this time. All right, I got it straight. Behind the B. Will it be enough? Let's see. The Queen of Diamonds and Mary wins $100,000. And she'll be back next week. I haven't got a kiss in a while. That's right. She'll be back next week to play for $200,000 in our championship game. Stay tuned for that super lotto drawing with a huge jackpot coming up next.